players who you probably forgot played together. Aaron Ramsey and Wes Morgan. Alright, hands up, who had money in Wes Morgan to win a Premier League before Aaron Ramsey? If you did, you're probably watching this video on a yacht somewhere. Both men were involved in a title race last year, but that seemed like pure fantasy when these two were teammates during the 10-11 season at Nottingham Forest. With Ramsey taking in five games at the city ground during a loan spell, the 28-year-old Morgan was enjoying his penultimate season at the club. If only he knew what was to come next. Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Steven Pienaar. Two emerging talented Ajax in the early 2000s, two very contrasting careers. Zlatan Ibrahimovic has played for some of the world's biggest clubs and has just picked up his 32nd trophy. Steven Pienaar, on the other hand, is stuck at the bottom of the league with Sunderland. Gilfie Sigurdsson and Roberto Firmino Gilfie Sigurdsson might have broken Anfield hearts last month, but if there's one player who should have known how dangerous he was, it was the lad who'd already bagged two at the other end. Roberto Firmino played alongside Sigurdsson for half a season at Hoffenheim. If Philippe Coutinho ever gets that move to Barcelona, could they be reunited? And no, I'm not trying to say that Paul Clement is going to make a move. Marcus Rojo and Eric Dyer. It's not often a lad from Cheltenham begins his career sporting Lisbon, but that's exactly the path Eric Dyer took to becoming a professional footballer. Along the way, he became teammates with Marcus Rojo, God bless him. Both would leave for Spurs and Man United respectively in the summer of 2014. Dyer has excelled, cementing himself as Mr. Reliable for both club and country. Rojo, while looking like he couldn't comprehend the basics of defending at first, has also become a fixture under Jose Mourinho. Marco Arnautovic and Kevin De Bruyne. Marco Anautovic and Kevin De Bruyne are two incredibly gifted footballers, so quite what they were doing in a Bundesliga relegation scrap is anyone's guess. With De Bruyne joining Werder Bremen on loan for the 12-13 season, the duo's attacking brilliance couldn't muster anything more than keeping the club in the top flight by just three points. Arnautovic is enjoying a fourth season with Stoke City, while De Bruyne must be making Mourinho reevaluate how he makes decisions. Romelo Lukaku and Cecho Chiate while Romelu Lukaku might be trying to convince every man, woman and child that he's content at Everton, honest, Cecu Kiate looks to be going nowhere, now in his third season at West Ham. Having spent six years at Anderlecht, the Senegalese midfielder played alongside Lukaku for two years before the Belgian signed for Chelsea in 2011. The duo helped the club win its 30th Belgian title with a teenage Lukaku finishing as the league's top scorer. Eden Hazard and Idrissa Gay. Two stars of the current season, it all started in Lille. Aidan Hazard and Idrissa Gay were teammates for two seasons until Hazard left for Chelsea after flirting with every top club that gave him the time of day. The pair won a French league together and Gay did get his move to England in 2015 where he was relegated and probably the worst Aston Villa team of all time. Now at Everton he's beginning to remember what it feels like to win a game. Harry Kane and Jesse Lingard when Harry Kane was on loan at Leicester City at the age of 19, I'd say not even his mother could have predicted his rise to stardom. Similarly, Jesse Lingard, a fellow loanee at the time from Man United, has done alright for himself, bagging an FAA and EFL Cup final. As far as trophies are concerned, they still haven't done as well as some of their former teammates though. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.